My name is Maxim Zhestkov. I started as an architect, but then realized that computer software could open new doors to understand how nature works. Hi, my name is Tomoga Jukets. I'm the head of BMW Design and I'm creating the experience of joy for our brand. Hello. Hey, hi Max. How are you? It's Domagoy. Hi Domagoy. Uh, great to hear from you. How are you? I'm very fine. I mean, uh, as always, very busy. Yeah, and uh, I'm of course stuck into a lot of feasibility things. But uh, of course, main part of my job is uh, creativity, and therefore uh, there are few people I think about when I. Uh, need inspiration and one of them is of course always you. Glad to hear, yeah sure, would be really happy to to share my kind of ideas and inspirational concepts and talk about kind of future of automobile industry and how to visualize some different forces. Yeah because you know um, right now um, we are working a lot about uh, how to uh, make, let's say, automotive industry more, um, let's say, emotional uh, through digitalization and electrification, yeah? because it's something which is, let's say, not at the first sight really uh, so obvious that it brings immediately emotions, but um, therefore I'm looking really for um, visuals which can bring both together like art and digital world and uh, I know all your artwork which is like a really holistic experience and this is what we are looking for and there I wanted to see a little bit what we can use uh, just also to help our our company yeah, which is actually since 100 years uh, uh, um, doing cars but of course in a different way than where we are heading and there I wanted to have really some conversation with you because your artwork really brings together like uh, yeah, some, some topics of uh, physical experience and digital experience and merge it to uh, something new and very, very inspiring. Yeah? And that's where I wanted to really uh, get some ideas also what, what drives you yeah, when you create these things. Yeah, yeah, sounds sounds really, really great, and uh, I would be happy to to try to uh, uh, answer. So probably uh, for me, the the biggest inspiration was always in, in nature. Not the nature is kind of usually people think that about some trees and water and all this jazz. Probably nature for me was always the biggest inspiration as something. Um, something what we can't understand totally, something so complicated that we have to try to crack the system and find some answers inside these visual languages, inside the principles of timeless mechanism uh, in which we live in. And uh, I started to think about and dive into biology into chemistry, into physics, and to see how everything is working, how this invisible machinery um, works and why everything looks in this particular way. And that's why I really love electricity and electromagnetism and probably this process was kind of corner store stone um, in all my art because making something um, with these forces, it's always the interplay. The interplay of the spaces and the interplay of characters, which is kind of really simplistic objects in my scenes, and how they create this ballet of uh, moving matter. Yeah, I mean, that's really cool and I, I, I love it also because 
you know, art is always driving us and human beings. And But, you know, my business and daily business is a little bit different. But actually, at the end, it comes to the same result because what we design is we have also to bring what you are talking about, like how to bring nature or physics or biology, what is happening, and you are visualizing them to a dance, yeah, to to something very inspiring. And what I am trying also uh, with my team is to all the technique or let's say also some functional use of a car yeah, or mobility, uh, what is just necessary yeah, for people to to be self-determined uh, in terms of uh, um, yeah to 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 go from a to b but to bring this in a in a in a shape in a visual experience yeah but which is also tactile yeah, to see to feel it to smell it which 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 brings emotion to such a topic yeah because why would you buy a, a premium or luxury product probably not because of rational reason uh, if you drive such a or if you buy a a luxury product, then there must be an emotional reason, and this is just driven by psychology, yeah, by uh, what is driving people, what makes a product wow and meaningful, and this is something where we come together, but I work of course then with some in the past that was like a product which is very physical, like your, like your architecture, but digital and user experience what becomes more and more important, um, the whole user experience of, yeah, like a like a welcome scenario or anything what happens around this product to make pain points more joyful. I don't know, charging yeah, or interacting with the machine uh, to create this in a very artful way, because what is happening behind? That's actually the whole physical process you were talking and there was one idea coming into my mind which I would really love if you could visualize this one one time because you know what is my biggest struggle actually as a designer working in industry is that we are talking about all this what you just what you were talking about art about like inspiration and uh, giving nature really an artful yeah, meaning and this is actually also what all the designers in BMW and the industry is driving they want to create something relevant probably for us it was always um, a great inspiration from uh, BMW and I own BMW for more than a decade uh, and That's good. Um, yeah, and uh, BMW always was a pretty big inspirational force. Uh, when I started uh, in university, uh, I first time seeing the concept of Gina, and it was the really, really big inspiration. And probably talking about sculptures and talking about motion, I always kind of thought about BMW as kind of trial to make the sculptures in motion that you kind of um, overstep the initial concept about the just a car right but to make um, something uh, beautiful uh, something what just serves need but something what could just overstep and create this sense of awe and create this really really next perception of futuristic stuff. It's always about emotional experience and emotion, I mean, when you take the, the uh, origin of emotion, it's actually energy in motion. Yeah, so, and it's about energy, yeah. which is in motion. And so like everything in whole life is energy in motion. And therefore, either you feel it, yeah, like, um, I mean, anything what you do or you have to help it to to strengthen this experience by visualiz visualization and i like this idea very much to bring the the essence or to the everything what is let's say on a physical base to to visualize this 
And uh, if you make it then with a certain topic, like here, what we want to express that that uh, that driving, uh, let's say, without yeah, without any noise, and uh, this brings another uh, emotion into this whole topic. Uh, and this to visualize is very very interesting. And I would really love to see some work um, that we can bring this to to our customers. Uh, what is very relevant yeah, for them. Yeah, sounds, sounds great and probably this is our biggest goal every time to show not just computer graphics and some complicated simulations but to find these languages how we can visualize emotions because it's always really, really tricky. It's not important that uh, people are understanding what we are talking about, you know, it's like because they need the sensation, they need the magic in the result. Yeah? So, I mean, it's like when you see a magician, you uh, know, show somewhere <laughs> of, a, of a big magician, if you would know what they're doing, it loses its magic. Yeah? I mean, it's like, it's the trick, it's something what we want to, we want to actually um, express the complexity of everything, like a car, there's so many things, so much so many also compromises, bringing uh, almost contradictions and paradigms together in a very nice result, yeah, which feels effortless. And uh, this is also the possibility of um, yeah, your work to, to give some, some complexity, certain order, because even in a chaotic system, you can see certain beauty. If you if you change the perspective, yeah? it depends from which side you look at it. Yeah, yeah, so, sounds amazing to to find emotions in 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 nature. Probably, yeah. This is this is the quest for searching of this true uh, sense of being human and to feel these emotions, even through kind of really simplistic graphics or kind of change something really complexity to something emotional yeah and what i enjoy really is i mean now I, I i'm talking to you in russia i'm sitting in munich i'm croatian uh, but uh, born in germany but what i like is that art is somehow unifying all cultures in the world you know what i mean because every yeah. every culture has, has different values on I don't know how you do this or this, but but art is somehow has no uh, borders. This is actually what is unifying the whole world and every culture. And there you see also the force of art. Yeah, what because you could have an, you have an exhibition, you have music, you have paintings, you have like your digital art, and it would find in the whole world also our cars, yeah, like our products. Yeah. always people with the same emotional um, reaction. You know what I mean? And, and there yeah. are other things where, I don't know, certain values where you, or behavior, human behavior, which is maybe more uh, given uh, from your <laughs> parents and so, but they are very different between different cultures. But art is so strong and therefore I love it also because it makes every person similar because you go more on the on the force of nature where you all started and uh, in terms of physics and biology we are all the same yeah? and art brings it then actually again to the essence of uh, of uh, nature yeah? Yeah. so um, Max it was great pleasure talking to you as always and uh, then uh, yes yeah, stay 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 uh, safe and um, then let's see each other then soon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Damago. It was a pleasure to speak to you. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Perfect. Bye, Max. Ciao. Bye bye.